Hi, in this hints and tips video I'll be showing you how you can turn your normal drafting table into a magnetic version. Hi everyone, I want to show you something today which I think you will like the look of. Um, as you can see behind me, I have got my angled drafting table here set up. I've got my polar bear up um, and you all know how big my polar bear is. So I lean up here, you know, you can see he is big. Um, I think my actual drafting table is a one size. Um, in America, I'll need to check that detail of those measurements actually I have my ruler here so let me just check the size of my board I'll do it in inches I'm not sure if you guys do centimeters so the size of my board is 26 inches deep and wide it is approximately 37 inches wide so you can tell you know it's a big ish table I do have a bigger one now when I was in America I was introduced to this drawing board which is the Visual Edge Slant Board. Um, it's an amazing thing, uh, but it is only what we call A3 size, so it's approximately 12 by 16 inch. Um, it's got these little legs that pop up, um, and there is a whole science behind this board. Um, it sits at a 22 degree angle. It was designed by a pilot for his daughter um, who had learning difficulties, and this was an aid to um, help her to learn and apparently the 22 degree angle is the angle that a lot of us used to have our school desks at when we were younger without us knowing um, that angle the direction that 22 degrees into our eyes and our brain increases our ability to learn it lowers our blood pressure there is a ton of science behind this board Anyway, practical side of it, because it's mostly, this one's sold by ophthalmologists, um, is that the word? Eye specialists here in the UK. Um, it's sold as a children's um, visual learning aid. A lot of artists were using it in workshops over in the US, and I tried one, I loved it. And one of the things I loved most about it as well is, it's a whiteboard as well, but it's also magnetic. This is before I knew about the whole 22 degree angle thing as well. So you can pop your drawing on there, and you can spin it around so you don't need to tape it down, which I thought was fantastic. Um, so no horrible tape, especially for me because I'm always lifting a piece off to be scanned in between when I'm creating a tutorial and scanning, do a, you know, do a section, scanning, do a section. So it's keeping taping it down and lifting it off was a pain. Um, so it's great and it's a great little travel tool and it's great for taking to workshops, but I needed something bigger. So because that um, slant board only comes in it's a decent size, it's great for travel, I say, great for sitting on your knee, if you just want to sit somewhere else in the house on the sofa and be lazy with your pencils. But I wanted something bigger. So I wanted something to sit really here on my nice big drawing table. So I had a good look online and a small piece here. I found this stuff. Um, it's designed to go on walls. Um, and it comes in lots of different formats. I chose white matte, you can get gloss, you can get black, and you can get different sizes. Um, so of course I, I chose a nice big sheet that was gonna fit, I think you can get bigger, um, a big sheet that's gonna fit here. You will also get it with a sticky back. So you're thinking, well, why is she even saying this? Um, here's the roll, actually. So I've got a big, another big roll there. So as I say, this comes with a sticky back. So if I wanted to stick this down actually onto my um, drawing table, I could. I'll pop that down there. But at the moment, I'm just trying it out. So what I've done is, let's see here. Let me just lift up. 
all I've done is I've just sat it for the moment over the top of my cutting board. Um, I've got some um, double sided velcro um, so what I might do is just put four corners of sticky velcro down and then when I want to pop it on there I can and then just by having a little bit of velcro in the corners it's not going to impact on my actual drawing board because I don't want to mess up my actual drawing board either. So the great thing about this stuff is it is magnetic. So you can see that. Let me just zoom in. There we go. So these are my little magnets. Um, my little neo magnets. And it's exactly the same as the theory of you know the magnetic board, magnetic part of a whiteboard or that little um, <laughs> the little visual edge board. Um, it means that here with my polar bear, which hopefully you can see, just zoom in again. Um, so here, if I want to move my polar bear around, rather than it being taped down, I can just lift off my magnets like this, and if I want to spin him, I can do it just like that, and then just simply pop my magnets back in place. And I recommend, I have got some fun magnets, I know some of you have seen, I've got, um, I've got my, my little sheep, which are just, you know, my little helpers, um, and I've got some fun little, 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 little doggy backside ones and things, but I really do recommend getting these, um, little silver ones. I'll pop some links in the video below, and I'll also pop the link there for buying this stuff. Um, on a roll, there is a name for it which I can't remember, but that is the main idea I just wanted to share with you. Um, so anybody who's looking for an alternative, like I say, you could, what I'm going to do is get some sheets of this, cut it to size, and for my workshops, I'm actually probably going to get either the sticky back plastic ones, sticky back ones, or add some sticky backing myself, and actually going to cover um, some of the boards and provide magnets for my workshops and it means that my students they can spin their piece around um, and it just makes it so much more user friendly. So that is my hints and tips video for now. Um, I hope you like the idea and I hope you use it and if you do let me know how you get on. Oh and I should say you can actually buy this stuff on a roll. Um, The actual stuff itself is magnetic. This one attracts magnets, but you can also get one that is magnetic. So if you try and put a magnet on it, it would repel. So make sure that you get the right one. If you want to use these actual magnets onto a sheet, you need to get the non-magnetic one that attracts magnets. Um, remember, a positive and a positive means a negative, um, so it will repel. Um, or if you just want to get the little bits of metal, you know, that isn't magnetic, you can buy the magnetic sheet and put your little bits of metal on there to hold your work. I hope that makes sense. I just thought I'd add that in at the end just as a warning. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, enjoyed this little hints and tips videos and you've learned something, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my channel below before you go. Thank you very much and I will speak to you all again soon.